Hello dear students, let us discuss chi-square analysis in this lecture. Chi-square analysis is also known as goodness of fit test. And what is this test? This is a statistical test. When we compare the actual results of genetic cross with the expected results, which have been calculated by laws of probability, they vary, sometimes they come out in exact agreement and sometimes they do not come in exact agreement. So one of the method, mathematical methods through which we can determine the deviation of the observed ratio and the expected ratio is called chi-square analysis. And this is also known as goodness of fit test. So uh, in this test, uh, we use mathematical calculations to determine how close an obtain ratio fits the expected ratio. That is why this is called goodness of fit test. And in this test, we do various calculations basically on the basis of the observed data and the expected data and we use this equation uh, which you can see in your slide where we uh, subtract the expected value from the observed value and divide it by expected number and then make a square of this number and then we add these numbers so this is known as chi-square test let us discuss this in detail now it is possible to work out chi-square problem by a tabular method and this can be done with some of the Mendel's tie hybrid as well as uh, monohybrid ratios. Now Fisher and Yates developed a table which is called chi-square table which has degrees of freedom on one vertical axis and probability values on the horizontal axis. So let us discuss this table and let us discuss some more terms. What is degrees of freedom? Degrees of freedom is the number of phenotypes or the number of classes in a particular class, cross and it, the value of degrees freedom is always 1 less than the number of events or classes. For example, in a typical monohybrid ratio, if there are two phenotypes, 3 is to 1, so the degrees of freedom will be uh, 2 minus 1 that is 1. Similarly, in a dihybrid ratio, if there are there is a cross and we get 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1, so there are 4 phenotypes we are getting. So, degrees of freedom in this case will be n minus 1 that is your 3. And there is uh, a probability value which is 0 0.05 in uh, chi-square table which is actually the 5 percent 0 0.05 or 5 percent is taken as a borderline in probability values this value is maximum permissible limit for deviation to occur uh, for example if we have degrees of freedom 1 we see across the probability values below 0 0.05 and if this value is uh, if this value in this table is fixed value, this is 3.841. This is the maximum permissible limit for deviation to occur. So, say for degrees of freedom 1, your limit is 3.841. If your observed value or calculated value of chi-square is less than uh, this 3.841, we say that the model proposed model is accepted and if it exceeds we say that the model is rejected then uh, we apply Yates correction with degrees of freedom if the degrees of freedom is uh, 1 and if it is more than 1 we do not apply Yates correction so where there is 1 degrees of freedom Yates correction is applied and Yates correction is the method of bringing the deviation towards 0 or reducing the deviation by magnitude of 0.5. If degrees of freedom is more than 1, then its correction is not applied. And if we leave this step while calculating chi-square value 
and directly move to the next step that is your d square by e you will understand all these steps when we discuss some genetics problem uh, in further slides and what are the steps involved in calculating chi square values the first step is you calculate the expected number by a formula which is ratio of genetic model upon total ratio into total number of progeny then the second step is you calculate deviation by formula o minus e where o is observed number and e is expected number then third step is you see the degrees of freedom if it is one calculates yes correction and bring it near zero the formula is d minus 0.5 uh, it depends whether you have to apply its correction or not on degrees of freedom then the fourth point is you calculate d square by e which is your deviation square upon expected number fifth step is you add d square by e values of all the classes and the value which comes is your chi square value then according to the number of de degrees of freedom you move across the probability table uh, and c below 0 0.05 if the value of chi square is less than the um, the value which is below 0 0.05 your model is accepted and if it exceeds the model is rejected suppose for a monogenic trait our chi square value comes 1.8 so in this chi square table we move across probability values below 0 0.05 and uh, the value below 0 0.05 is 3.841 so our proposed model is our proposed model of monogenic trait is accepted and now we see where the 1.8 value comes under probability value so for example in this table you can see that this is degrees of freedom 1 and we are moving around across the probability value we see that this is 0 0.05 probability below this is 3.84 our value is uh, 1.8 so it is less than 3.84 so our proposed model is correct now we see where it our value comes so we see because our value is 1.8 so it it is coming in between uh, these two values uh, 0 0.10 uh, zero and 0 0.25 say our values lie somewhere here and say this is below 0 0.02 so if it comes under 0 0.20 it means that if we do our experiment 100 times we will get observed value 20 times and 80 times we will get our expected value of 3 is to 1 so this is how we see the chi-square table in this chi-square table degrees of freedom are on uh, vertical axis and the probability values on the horizontal axis and these are the standard values which are given so three pictures are in uh, so what we have discussed so far you can refer uh, the book of genetics for understanding this more what we have discussed so far to evaluate the role of chance in producing deviations between observed and expected values, a statistical test called the goodness of fit chi-square test is used. This test provides information about how well observed value fits expected value. Uh, so what does that mean? It means that goodness of fit or chi-square test is nothing but a statistical test to test whether uh, the deviations between the observed and expected value are by chance or not not the chi-square test cannot tell us whether a genetic cross has been correctly carried out or whether the results are correct or whether we have chosen the correct genetic explanation for the result actually it indicates the probability that the difference between the observed and expected value is due to chance. Now, what is probability? Probability is the probability associated with calculated chi-square value, which is the probability that the deviation between observed and expected results could be due to chance. 
So this is a chi square table, and you can see that uh, in this table there is degrees of freedom, which is written here. This degrees of freedom, you can see that on the horizontal axis there are degrees of freedom, and on the uh, this um, on the vertical axis there are degrees of freedom, and on the horizontal axis these values indicate. Probability value. So we will see the values below 0 0.05, which is our uh, permissible limit, and then we see whether we have. To. So this is a chi-square table which we have just discussed. How we see degrees of freedom and how we see the values under 0 0.05 probability. If the values are less, we accept the model. Uh, and if the values are more than 0 0.05 probability with reference to degrees of freedom, we reject the model. Now let us discuss some problems. Say you are given a genetics question like this, where you have got a 36 red seeds, 4 brown seeds and 10 white seeds. And you have classified the mixture and you come to know that uh, the expected uh, uh, the ob expected ratio is 12 is to 3 is to 1 and so you know that you have you are proposing this model as that this is a case of dominant epistasis. Now to how to check this by chi-square analysis. For calculating chi-square you have to make a table like this. In the first column you will put phenotype. In second column write down the observed number from the data. In third column uh, write down the expected ratio which you have calculated 12 is to 3 is to 1 in the next column write down expected number by the formula ratio phenotype upon total ratio into total progeny so uh, in the next column you have to calculate observed minus expected ratio uh, observed minus expected so this comes this will be now uh, comes out as, as deviation now in this case you do not have to apply Yates correction because degrees of freedom is more than 1. Why it is more than 1? Because the number of phenotypes are 3, red, white and brown. So by the formula of degrees of freedom this will be 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So when the degrees of freedom is more than 1, the Yates correction is not applied. And so we will skip this and we will directly calculate d square by e and then we will add all the values of t square by e, all the values of all the phenotypes and this comes out to be a chi square value. So for this uh, you have just seen that in this particular case the value is 0 0.345 for the degrees of freedom of 2. So we will check for degrees of freedom 2 under the probability value 0 0.05 we see that uh, the standard value is 5.99 which is and our ex calculated chi-square value is 0.345 which is less than 5.99. So our proposed model of 12 is to 3 is to 1 is correct and the chi-square value calculated is less than 5.991. Now this is another problem. You can see that there are uh, three phenotypes and we have tabulated the result like this here because there are three classes and degrees of freedom is 2 so its correction will not be applied and the value calculated value is 1.2605 so for degrees of freedom uh, 2 uh, uh, the value is 5.99 below 0 0.05 so our calculated value is less so the proposed model is accepted. Now in this question you can see that degrees uh, yes correction is applied because the degrees of freedom is 1 because there are two classes or two phenotypes so 2 minus 1 is 1 so degrees of freedom is 1 and the yes correction is applied and here you can see that the chi square value is 4.025 which is more than the permissible limit 3.84 at degrees of freedom 1 so this model is rejected. This is the last problem of this lecture and you can see that in this particular case its correction is applied because the degrees of freedom is 1. 
you can refer any genetics book for this you will understand the topic thank you students